Hey everyone, it's Brandon here. How's it going? Um, so today I just wanted to uh, make a video uh, regarding reverse osmosis and DI uh, units. Um, there's many companies out there, um, some that uh, specialize uh, in aquarium uh, filtration and then there's like ones that uh, specialize in drinking water. You can use the ones for drinking water. Um, now, it's v why it's very important to have a DI, uh, RODI system is um, it takes all the contaminants that are left and, and all the treatments that are left in your t um, municipal tap water and what it does is it um, takes out like all the, there's little tiny f fine particles that weren't, we're not even going to see. Uh, maybe you put them under a microscope, uh, you could maybe see some of them. But uh, these ones, uh, you know, there's some harmful metals that uh, will come through your tap water. Um, tap water conditioner will not uh, remove 100% of these uh, materials. Um, so when, when you're talking about RO units, um, you want to get zero TDS. And what TDS stands for is total dissolved solids. Okay, so it's all these these solids that are in the water and you're trying to dissolve them through the filtration and um, ultimately ending up with zero you know parts per million um, so uh, right now we're going to show you how to change the filters but I just wanted to quickly go over why you need a, an RODI unit um, yes they cost a little bit of money um, but what you get in return the benefits far outweigh the cost you know that that you put out for the unit um, this unit here um, I added a DI stage onto it I bought it just as an RO system then I added a DI stage onto it uh, separately um, all in all about $200 it cost me um, so and it does 100 gallons per day it's got a hundred gallon uh, per day membrane um, and uh, as you see, it's got the two-stage, so you've got your, um, your sediment filter, your carbon filter, and then you have your um, DI stage. So let me just quickly show you guys here. So this is your sediment filter, okay, your carbon filter, and your DI stage. Okay, so the water will come in from your tap. You'll hook it up to your tap. Um, you can hook it up to your copper piping or your PVC piping. Um, or you can get like a garden hose adapter. There's many different ways of hooking them up. Um, I just have mine down in the dungeon here. As you can tell, uh, we're in the dungeon. And mine's just hooked up to the laundry tub uh, via a hose adapter. So uh, what will happen is the water will come in. And it will enter in through this right here, this uh, quarter inch tubing. It will enter into your uh, sediment filter. Okay. And what that will do is take out some of the fine particles and then from there it comes up out of there into the carbon okay and I'll take out some more fine particles and uh, color and uh, any odors anything like that um, if you're drinking it, it takes out the taste um, and then from there it goes through the membrane okay so here's your membrane this is the most important part of your unit and we'll get to that in a second and then through your membrane it goes into your DI stage, okay, runs through this resin here, and then it will come out and into your uh, your bucket or wherever you're putting your good water. Now there's also a waste line here, okay. So what the um, what happens is once it goes through the membrane, the membrane, you know, kind of uh, separates the particles that are left and everything like that. And you can send your waste down the drain or you can use it, um, save it in a bucket and use it for like watering your flowers, um, whatnot. Uh, you do get a lot of waste water. Um, I think I get a three to one ratio on this. So I get three gallons of waste water to one gallon of good water. So um, there is a waste of water, but you can use different methods to not, uh, you know, just use it for different things around the house. Um, I do not suggest drinking. Um, RODI water, okay, because uh, the DI takes out all the fluoride and everything like that that you need um, in your water. Um, you can have an RODI system hooked up, and then you can have like a little T splitting 
um, so that you know your water doesn't go into the DI stage it'll go through all these stages and then come out before it hits the DI stage and you can drink that water but I do not suggest drinking uh, the DI water once it's been run through the DI stage okay so let's look at some of the filters here um, today I'm going to change these two filters okay the sediment and the carbon filter um, my DI is great I just changed it not long ago you can see it's nice and dark um, this is the bulk reef supply uh, color changing DI and you'll notice that uh, it's nice and dark and then once it starts to deplete it kind of goes like a, a, um, a really light color okay so um, so it shows you when you should change uh, that portion of your filter system okay so let's look at the filters themselves here um, so you're going to notice when I take out the one filter you're going to notice a big difference um, so I am using the Zplex, okay, one micron filter. Um, I'm actually next time I order filters, I might go five microns. Um, all depends. I'm not too sure, but there's different microns um, of these cartridges, these filters. So um, just be aware of that. Um, I like the Zplex line. You can get them from BulkReefSupply.com. Um, they're not overly expensive. Um, I think they're like five dollars or less. Um, and uh, they last a lot longer. This one here I've been running about seven months. Um, and I want to stress to everybody, change these out often. These two filters here, your carbon and your uh, sediment filter, change them out often. It will save your RO membrane. Um, the membrane can start from, uh, you know, they go up to like hundreds of dollars. So um, they're not cheap. So. It's more cost effective to change these out often to prevent a lot of uh, crud getting up in there. Okay, so uh, you know, cost you a couple dollars each usually, depends on which uh, ones you go with and where you get them from. So, um, just a little word of advice from me. Okay, so this will be our sediment filter that we're going to be changing, and the other one that I like to use is the Matrix uh, carbon uh, filter. Um, they make excellent, excellent carbon filters. Again, last a lot longer than your average Home Depot filter or, you know, wherever you get them from. But uh, um, these are manufactured in um, the USA, so they're not, you know, they're not from China. Now, there's anything wrong with them because uh, the China ones do work. I used to own those, buy them from there um, all the time. But I find myself uh, they depleted a lot faster, and I changed them a lot sooner. So. Um, I've started going with this. Okay, here, so yeah, one tool that you're going to need right here is your wrench. This is uh, specifically for RO units. Um, I don't know if you can see in here, but it has these little grooves here on each of these. And the wrench has, you know, to grab on, has these little nubs here to grab on to each one of those grooves. Um, so before you take off your unit, what you want to do is release any pressure that's in the system. Okay, um, a lot of, you just, uh, there's a, like a flush valve to flush out your system. Um, you want to just uh, open that up. Okay. So um, all you do is you just take this wrench here. You lift up your unit slightly, put the wrench over, and then you'll turn it. Okay. It won't, okay, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to get them off, and then uh, we'll come back and show you what the filters will look like. 